everyone do these luxury wish list wish list and i thought i would join in on the front now i am a little late um and we'll talk about why in the list so I'm a little late, but I have a few things. I was trying to narrow down things that I actually needed in um, my wardrobe and needed like just in general. So last year um, during the pandemic, I kind of went on like a, a luxury kind of purchasing, purchasing spree. We were in quarantine. I discovered Fashion File. I discovered some other Instagrammers that do and live in New York. And so they have access to like sample sales. And I got a little crazy, but what I realized is that I end up buying some of the same things. Um, and I didn't really add a lot of things to my wardrobe that I needed. I main, so, mainly bought it because it was cute and it really wasn't purposeful. So now I'm kind of weighing cost per wear. So this year, this is my first luxury wish list. I'm going to continue to add things that I hope is purposeful and um, it makes sense. Um, just in case for you guys that are wondering, I am in my loungewear from Target. It's a lounge day for me. Um, here in Houston, we had a snow day where it actually snowed and the snow actually stuck to the ground for longer than 35 minutes. So it is like real life snowing outside so i decided to stay in my loungewear and record a little video from you guys for you guys so i absolutely love this set and let's go ahead and hop into the wish list so i'm gonna start with bags first if you see me looking down i did write notes because like i said i'm a person that if i could have everything i want everything and that's not really necessary so i'm trying to get into making smarter purchases when it comes to luxury items um and things that make sense right so I'm going to pop up some pictures as we're discussing this. We're going to start with bags first. So the first thing on my luxury wish list is going to be a Lady Dior Medium brown bag. Now, I've seen these on Fashion File um, and The Real Room, and I want a specific color. I'm so mad at myself. So I had it in my cart um, about two weeks ago, and I was waiting till I hit my savings goal, and I was going to put it on. Um, Fashion Pal kind of has like this low way thing, and I like doing that for myself because each time I hit a market and sales goals or I hit a savings goal, I go ahead and pay on the purse. I kind of like treat myself, and then before I know it, it's paid off, and I get this package in the mail, and I'm like so excited. I did the same thing with my Lady Dior that's in pink back there. I did get that one for Fashion File for a really good deal. Um, it was $1,700, and I think the regular price for the Lady Dior's after the price increase are a little bit over $3,000. So that was a great deal. It was pretty much in pristine condition. It came with the dust bag and the strap and the little um, tassel that says Dior. I saw another one on fashion file that was the perfect brown color and i'm still kicking myself and i was like oh i'll put it in my car and then once i hit my savings goal which will be like probably in three or four days i'll just go ahead and put it on the reserved railway pavement i messed up i waited and then before i knew it was gone so now i'm on the hunt for the perfect brown um patent leather medium size lady dior I'm not really a mini girl. Um, they're just not really functional for me. And most times that I'm carrying purses, it's for the functionality of them. Um, I travel back and forth where I was before the panoramic. Um, travel and back and forth to work into my showroom. So I like things that fit my iPad, my Surface Pro, um, some type of like tablet or notebook. So I, I like the minis, but I think they're definitely just more for fashion. And with the Lady Dior bags, I kind of use it as like a real bag. Um, so I don't really want to get into the mini. I did see that they had a large one um, on Fashion File. And I am going to be probably buying the Dior purse pre love because Dior didn't have another markup. And I have to choose if I'm going to pay full price for Chanel or I'm going to pay full price for Dior. But it won't be both. Like, it just, <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? They, they These markups have got to stop. Which brings me to my next one, a saddlebag. Now, the saddlebag has been on my wish list, or my not my actual wish list, my imaginary wish, wish list. I've said I wanted this since last year. I was absolutely mad at my mom because she had a denim saddlebag when I was a teenager. She has since then lost the denim saddlebag. And I am angry <laughs> with her. She had the saddlebag and the guitar strap. She said she lost it. She said she let a friend borrow it. They never returned it. 
and she don't know what happened to like I don't know but she had a saddlebag and she doesn't have it anymore and that would have just been perfect that would have satisfied my saddlebag cravings and I wouldn't have had to have a saddlebag anymore but now that they've come back out I absolutely love the matte black saddlebag and I haven't been able to find one pre-loved yet um but i have seen them in the store of course for retail and i just cannot bite the bullet on there i absolutely love how they look i love the the shape of them i love the matte black they also have a matte black new one but i think that i have i think i want to add a new purse and a black purse to my wardrobe and then some type of fun color and that'll kind of like solidify what i'm doing but the matte black saddlebag y'all it is like everything everything and i know that's like all of the rage last year and this year was the saddlebags they are a little small on the inside i will say that you can't really fit a lot into them but i'm just picturing that like as a going out purse um a shopping purse a brunch purse i can even do it like with a slight evening wear without the guitar strap so that is definitely on my wish list next is going to be the chanel mini vanity case and i saw this in a light blue color and it was perfect. I don't have anything in my collection that is light blue. So I want to start adding some more colors um, into my bag collection. I pretty much stick to neutrals. And then my favorite color to add, which you can probably tell behind me, is a pop of pink. So I don't have any like color bags yet. Um, other than like a little crystal clutch that I got from BCBJ a while ago. And it's like a toy quest color. But I really want the mini case um, vanity bag from Chanel if i could find it vintage because then the chain could probably be 14 karat gold and just a lot heavier i would prefer that if not um i've seen some here and there that were reasonably priced that i don't mind getting but i absolutely want a vanity case i just feel like it would be so cute and i feel like the tiffany's blue like a light blue is a color that i don't have and i feel like i can wear that in the spring i can kind of transition it kind of in the fall but what i'm picturing is it with a pink dress and this light blue bag or like something pink i want to wear something pink and blue like the merge of those two colors i think it's going to be great <laughs> so next on my list is a tote and the reason why I just put tote, I have the Neverfull limited edition um, tote that has the red kind of stripe in the middle. I absolutely love it. It is great for a work bag. I mostly wear it when we are traveling because I can kind of just toss what I need in there and it kind of works. I don't like putting my laptop and stuff like that in a check bag. So I pretty much put my laptops, electronics, um, my favorite makeup goes inside of my tote and then anything else that I'm like kind of scared they're going to break if I check a bag that goes into my tote i want another tote um one that's a little bit bigger i battle back and forth between the saint laurent tote the canvas tote in black and white or the nude in black and i've also battled between the book tote um from dior absolutely love all of those well both of those i just can't really decide which one i like the book tote because it just looks so pretty like the embroidery the detailing on that is just so pretty to me and i like them in all colors i actually don't like the leather one as much as i like the canvas one i feel like the texture on it just feels really nice um and i like the saint laurent top just because it's really chic and basic um so just kind of two different vibes so i have to kind of figure out which one i want the most whichever one i can find at like a really good price um i've seen the saint laurent totes on sale a lot more than of course the dior totes the saint laurent totes i've seen for like as cheap as 9.98 and i was just going back and forth on if i wanted it or not um i can be a little indecisive so sometimes i have to see things multiple times before i buy it there are only a few things that i just like know that i want as soon as i buy it um if it's pink if it's on like a really good sale or if it's pink if it's pink or nude y'all if it's nude i have to get it i just have to i, I have to <laughs> i have to the next thing is going to be a chloe bag so i have a chloe gray bag it was actually my first luxury purse that i received um and i love it it has withstood the test of time the chain has been good to me it is a heavy bag um i just will always have a love for chloe because that was my first designer bag so i have then seen a gold mini chloe drew bag that i think is so cute and i don't have a gold bag and this is like a true metallic gold bag and it has a gold chain 
and I just absolutely think that it is darling. Um, I did see this on Fashion File and it just worked. Like I can picture it with jeans and a white t-shirt. I can picture it with like a cute sundress and some type of wide brim hat. I just see myself wearing this gold Chloe bag so many different ways that it just works. So that is definitely going on my wish list and probably something that I will pick up here soon. Next is gonna be the Hermes Constant bag. So I don't know what size I want in this bag. I do know that I want it in a pop of color. I don't want like a neutral or like a white. I want something that's like a pop of color. Um, I've seen a purple, I've seen a teal, I've seen a yellow, I've seen a fuchsia pink that was absolutely bomb. Um, I do plan on getting this one pre-loved. I do not wanna go pay full price for these because I feel like, ah, uh, I don't know, I feel like I can get a better deal on it pre-loved. So I do want the constant um, crossbody bag. And so we'll pop a picture up as well in there. And the last thing in bags is going to be the Valentino Rock Stud um, crossbody bag. And Janae from Hollow Lux has this. And hers at the back of hers says Valentino. I really like that one. And I've also seen it where the studs are like a gunmetal gray. And I think that it is just like so edgy and so cute. I didn't know how I would like this on me. So I did go into the store and try it on. I fell in love with it. Um, they're not too badly priced. I think it was like $2,300. So still a little, well, in comparison to everything else, it's, it's kind of reasonable. It is a big bag. I can fit some definite things in there. But I do want to add that to my collection as something just to have a little bit more edge. I tend to be a little bit more classic and timeless. I try to pop in edgy pieces here and there, but that is something I want to kind of get into in 2021. It's kind of adding a little bit of edge into my wardrobe. I tend to go more classic and girly for sure. Um, so I want to add in some edge to my wardrobe. All right, let's move on to shoes. So the first thing that's on my wish list for shoes is going to be the Tom Ford padlock sandals and denim. I have the padlock sandals in silver from Tom Ford and I fell in love with them after my birthday party. I love the gold silhouette heel. Mine has the padlock in gold as well and the heel is completely silver. So I like the contrast of the silver and the gold on the heel. But what really sold me on these is that y'all, my party started at, at let's say 10. It didn't end to like two. I stayed in those shoes all night with no problems and I, I'm not one of those people that like sit down in my birthday party. No, I was up trying to shake a tail feather the whole night and those shoes gave me no problems. And then even at a wedding, I wore them again, no problems. So these shoes are so comfortable that I want another pair. They have them in black. They have them um, in gold. I cannot, um, I've heard someone say, I think this was Brittany with Pocket and Bose. She said they discontinued the all gold with the gold heel, which makes me really sad. Um, that would, would have been on my wish list if I can find them. But I do like the denim ones. I feel like the denim ones are a mix between casual and dressy. And you can kind of dress them up or dress them down. I haven't dressed down my padlock heels. I've always worn them like with cocktail dresses or some type of like, semi-formal thing but i can picture the denim shoes i want to wear them with sweats y'all like i want to wear like a white tied-up blouse with like some gray like high quality sweats and like we'll get into this and like a pretty necklace i'll tell you what kind of necklace i want to wear when i get into accessories like a pretty necklace and i feel like that will be just the look so i i'm getting more into like this effortless sleigh that I absolutely love. So I want those denim Tom Ford padlock shoes. And at the time that I was looking for them, they were so popular, they sold out. Then we went to um, Tom Ford here in the Galleria. They had one pair. I called, got to the store, and when I got them, they were so, when I got there, they were sold out. So definitely wanna add them onto my niche, um, wish list. Next thing is something I'll probably be getting really here quickly. And it is a pair of the Dior tennis shoes. They are, um, nude i'll insert a picture of them i can't think of the name they look like space shoes <laughs> but they're really really cute so they are nude and like i said i have an obsession with nude i started adding to my tennis shoe designer collection um here in the pandemic so i was able to find a couple of pairs of chanel tennis shoes on sale which is like unheard of so right now i just have three pair of designer tennis shoes i have two chanel and one balenciaga pair 
and I want to add some more because the ones the my tennis shoes I wear them out like I wear them out out so want to add that next is going to be another pair of Hangisi Manila Blonics I have the blue pair um, I am worried about sizing in these so I got these from designer haul on instagram she her name is mimi she lives in new york and i'm lying i did not get those from her. i got these from chasing luxury so chasing luxury she is also in houston i believe and she goes to like nordstrom's rag and different stores when they have like the sales and she finds them and she resells them so i only pay 5.99 or 5.95 with shipping for my hangisi um manila blonic pumps and i'm so mad y'all I thought that I needed to size up, and this is before I like really did my research on the shoes. I just wanted them because Carrie Bradshaw had them, and I felt like they were like a classic pump that would never go out of style. So I thought they were like a classic pump that would never go out of style. So I bought them. They're too big. So my normal shoe size is like a 36, 36 and a half, depending on the cut of the shoe. Um, I have a funny shaped foot. One of my toes on my, <laughs> we're, we're friends, right? So my second toe on my right foot is extremely longer than my first toe. So when I buy shoes, I have to buy them a half a size bigger so that my second toe doesn't run into my shoe. Now, all my friends and like close people, they know me, they know this, but we're, we're family, right? Y'all not, no judgment. If y'all see y'all in the comment section talking about me and my tongue, be offended. But neither here nor there. I bought the shoes about a 37. In my mind, I was thinking, oh, that'll be perfect. That'll give me enough room. I They're too big, guys. Like, they're flopping up and down. But I don't want to sell them because they're the perfect bloom. They're the hanky C pump. I got them for a good deal. But I have never worn them outside of the house. Um, I still have the box for them, the dust bag, and so forth. So maybe I should sell them and buy the right size, but I don't know. So on my wish list, I want a yellow pair or a fuchsia pair. And I even would take a mule in the Hangisi pump as well. So that definitely goes on my, my luxury wish list. And then last in shoes is going to be a pink pair of So Kate Louboutins. Now, I know that So Kate's get a bad rep. People absolutely hate them or they absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. I think that they look so good on your foot. I think that it is the perfect pump for like a pencil skirt or a, um, what is up with a pant name? A cigarette cut pant and like a blazer with a So Kate pump. Ugh, like the aesthetics. I think it looks amazing. Are they the most comfortable shoe? No. Are they unbearable? Not for me. My unbearable shoe? <laughs> Let me tell y'all my unbearable shoe. The most unbearable, unbearable shoe that I have, and this is being off topic, is the YSL sandal that has the YSL on the heel. Worst luxury purchase ever. Let me know if y'all want me to do a video on that because that is a whole nother thing. So yeah, I definitely have that on my wish list is the So Kate Pumps. Now, last on my wish list is gonna be accessories. So when I say accessories, I mean belt, jewelry, um, candles, and then we'll talk about perfume, but I actually just got the thing that I wanted on my luxury wish list for perfume. So for accessories, the Loewe belt. <laughs> the belt, and I'm just gonna, pop it up here and you'll know exactly what belt I'm talking about but the belt so I'm just gonna call it the belt this belt has been an obsession for me for the last year so I saw a blogger on and I can't remember her name and she told me the name of the belt and I went searching for it and it was only in brown and black so it was like black and it had like a brown trim on it then I saw another blogger on Instagram with it and hers was completely black so now I went looking for it again and then Janae from Hilo Lux had the belt again. <sighs> you guys, this belt, in my mind, this belt will change my whole wardrobe. It is like a Cinderella belt. <laughs> it is going to be my fairy godmother of belts. Like it's going to instantaneously change the whole structure of my wardrobe and anything that I put it on with. So I, I want to get my hands on this belt. I just cannot 
wrap my mind around paying a thousand dollars for a belt a belt <laughs> a belt so it is real leather um i've heard nothing but great reviews about the quality of it i have seen the belt on sale in that brown and black color for like 6.99 but i would prefer the all black one if they come out with a nude one i'm snatching it up if they come out with like a sand brown nude like a true nude color i'm snatching it up I live for a waist belt. Um, I remember back in the day when BCBG was like really popping and they had all the harness belts and the waist belts. I bought all of them. I still have them. I still wear them from time to time as well. But I just feel like this Loewe belt is a game changer. Right in line with the Loewe belt, they have a belt and I saw it on the mannequin uh, when I went Valentine's Day shopping and it was at Christian Dior in Saks. It is a waist belt as well, and it is reversible. So I'll pop a picture of it up. So the front side, you can either wear it one or two ways. You can wear it with the Christian Dior in the front, um, and the harness kind of pieces are in the back, or you can turn it and it looks like a harness or two belts, two belt loops, two belt hooks um, in the front, and you can wear it like that as well. Absolutely love this belt. It is another price to win. On the website, it's $1,700. Oh, Dior, Christian, Christian, why? Why? Why is the belt $1,700? Help me, help me understand. So the belt is $1,700. It is new, um, so it probably will not be anywhere on the pre-love market. Um, so it probably will be a purchase that I have to go into the store and make. It is everything. They have it in a... I'll pop it up as well. They have it also in a kind of floral canvas print where instead of the back being leather, it's like a canvas kind of embossed print, the same as those canvas tote bags. And it's colorful and it has a Christian Dior on there. And then of course it has the two buckles in the front. I like that. That one is $1,900. And I'm guessing it's because of the embossed kind of embroidery print, which makes sense. But I think if I had a I do have a choice. I think for me, I would go with the solid leather. I feel like for my wardrobe, it would get a lot more wear. I'm not really a huge color, colorful type person as I have on this tie-dye pink and green shirt. But in my everyday wardrobe, I'm not really like a huge color person, especially not like, this is a contradiction, tie-dye. This is loungewear, does that count? Like in my regular streetwear clothing. All right, next on my list is going to be something that I actually got for Valentine's Day. Um, I had on my luxury wish list the Christian Dior choker necklace, and I actually received that for Valentine's Day. Today is the day after Valentine's Day. I'm hoping that this video goes up soon. So I did receive that for um, Valentine's Day. So I had that on my wish list, and I'm so excited that I got it. I also got the matching bracelet, and then I got another um, Christian Dior I guess it's kind of like a charm bracelet. I would probably um, take back the charm bracelet and get the earrings instead because I don't see the point in having two Christian Dior bracelets. So I want to make sure I get my money's worth. So I might take that back and either get the earrings or put that towards the Christian Dior shoes and boom. So the last thing on my wish list is going to be some earrings and it they are from Louis Vuitton. They were the it item last year um they are the hoops that have the x xl <laughs> vl in them and they are absolutely darling i keep seeing them everywhere i would prefer the larger ones up uh, more than the smaller ones i feel like for what i'm envisioning high ponytail or a bun with these earrings simple outfit love 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 i am concerned um uh, one issue that i had when i have bought chanel earrings is that i have very sensitive um skin and ear holes or when it comes to jewelry i am super duper sensitive so if it is not 14 karat gold or something that has gold plated where it has no nickel then i tend to break out so I'm a little leery on that. Um, that was one thing that I didn't know about Chanel jewelry. I thought that it was 14 karat gold, but it's just gold plated. So when I got my Chanel earrings from, it was, it was like my first Chanel earring purchase. My ears broke out really, really bad, and I ended up having to give those earrings away, so I wasn't able to wear them. So I am a little, I am a little concerned about that when purchasing the Louis Vuitton earrings, but I really want them, and they're really cute. So. We're gonna see. I think that's it for my luxury wish list, guys. 
I think writing down everything help will help me not buy like impulsively if that makes sense and hopefully I can kind of like check off things as I go oh fragrances so let's do another video for that <laughs> so I'm hoping that as I write off things this will help me check off what I want keep me from being an impulsive buyer keep me on track for the things that I've accomplished and like celebrating with little small trinkets and gifts to myself so if you like what you have saw and you stuck around be sure to comment like and subscribe and i will see you babes next time bye <laughs>